Mayhem in midair, a passenger punches an American Airlines flight attendant in the back of the head on a plane heading to LAX. This happened on a flight from Cabo San Lucas yesterday. The person who took the video said the passenger punched the flight attendant after he was told he could not use the bathroom up front because he wasn't in first class. What's up guys, bienvenido a mi casa and welcome back to another episode of Travel News where we bring you all the crazy stuff going on in the travel world. All right, guys, as you saw, our first story is coming straight out of Cabo, going to L.A. An American airline passenger decided to get a little aggressive with a flight attendant. Now, if you ask me, based on this man's fit, the Hawaiian shirt with the baggy khakis, everyone on that plane should have known he was a danger. That is a scary fit. That's black Nike level danger. This is Nike tech level bad. Anybody coming from a vacation with this fit is up to no good. Staying clear. Going to a vacation, maybe it's acceptable. But coming from a vacation, be on alert. They're capable of anything. Let's jump into this clip so we can get the full details. Tonight, this disturbing attack. An American Airlines flight attendant brutally punched in the back of the head by a passenger. What are you doing? All of it captured by a fellow flyer. The cabin left stunned. Kevin Hoover says he had a front row seat to the man's erratic behavior on the flight from Cabo San Lucas, Mexico to Los Angeles. According to the criminal complaint, the passenger had moved into first class. His temper apparently flaring after he was asked to move back to his assigned seat. A gentleman came up and sat in the empty seat across the aisle from me and started mumbling. The flight crew, with the help of Hoover, able to calm down the suspect until the plane landed. Flight attendant grabbed some restraints, and her and I went back there, and I just told him, I said, we're going to put these on you. And he just put his hands up and let us do it. The passenger taken off the flight by police in Los Angeles and detained by the FBI, and now charged with interfering with the flight crew, a federal offense. American Airlines banning that passenger from all future flights, writing in a statement, Acts of violence against our team members are not tolerated, adding, our thoughts are with our injured flight attendant. The punch, part of a troubling rise in mid-air confrontations. The FAA dealing with more than 1,900 unruly passengers this year alone. That's an average of seven per day. They launched 680 investigations. Those numbers down from the peak in 2021 when bad behavior spiked during COVID mask mandates, but still four times higher than pre-pandemic levels. Now, I'm not sure what time this flight was, but we could tell this man was trying to squeeze a little bit more out of that all you could drink package. It was obviously inebriated, fully turned up. On something. The full story goes, this man was walking up and down the plane, annoying the passengers. He somehow made his way to that first class. And if you know anything about flying, they not tolerating any disrespect in that first class. You're gonna get a full court press by that flight attendant. This man didn't like that. He wasn't feeling that energy. So when he was pressed, he challenged the flight attendant to a duel, a one-on-one, mano-a-mano. The flight attendant tried to speed up, but it was too late. The Hawaiian shirt assassin was already on his tail. I want to take this time to point out one key difference between the videos. Now, I want to say this was the weakest punch of all time. I'm talking about this was SpongeBob Balloon all week. I just want to take this moment to show you how camera effects can change everything. Now, look at this first video and look at the second video. Now you can see in those videos, the first video, super weak. The second one, he looked like Mike Tyson. Either way, the punch sent the fight. <laughs> Either way, the punch. Either way, the punch sent the flight attendant fly. After the attack, passengers helped the airline crew subdue the man with some restrictions. Now, I don't know when this changed. I think it just might be the violence going on on airplanes. But now they have official flight restriction gear. I remember in the old days, they used to hog tie you down and put some duct tape around you and you have to figure it out, figure out how to get you out of there when they landed. This man was obviously arrested. He was obviously arrested once they set foot in LA. Once they got there, FBI was waiting on the kid. He was charged with disturbing the peace of the flight. Something like that. It's federal crime. I don't, I don't know the, the terminology. Rewind and look at the video. The news video got it. On top of that, the man was banned for life. I have no clue what goes through these people. I don't know what this man was on. I don't know what drink put you in the mind frame to put your hands on a flight attendant, but I can't for the life of me understand why people risk this. Now guys, I get it. When you're intoxicated, you make bad decisions. I understand that, 
but I don't think it's a drug in this world that will make me actually put my hands on a flight attendant. And if it is, let me know below. <laughs> If it is, let me know below. Consequences are way too severe. First of all, you get that F on your chest. And once you get that F on your chest, you're done. You're gone, nerd. The F no longer stands for felony. It stands for finish. Pretty sure once that man touched down, he sobered up real, real quick. And now, he gotta deal with the consequences. Could potentially be 20 years in jail, even though I highly doubt they give him 20 years. He might, he actually probably get probation from this because clearly something wasn't going on right in his mind. Which side of this scary, the amount of attacks, the amount of violence going on mid-flight. I think airlines have to find a way to stop this. I don't know if they want to put some security on board or what, but it's going to lead to a bad situation and it's only a matter of time. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for checking in. Every week we back. Same place, same time. See you then. Ah.